Hello James, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be discussing the frequently asked bit set questions from the chapter of mechanical properties of matter or elasticity. Just a quick announcement. We'll be starting with the bit set mock test series soon. So hope to see you then. Consider subscribing because we are very close to 300 subscribers. That's all. Let's begin with this video. So before we get to the questions, let's briefly discuss the topic weightage for this chapter. Okay, and let's see which topics are more important as from a bit side point of view. Okay, first of all, let me tell you that elasticity or mechanical properties of matter is not that kind of an important chapter for bit side because you can at most expect only one to two questions from this chapter. So comparatively, the chapters that we have discussed before are more important than this chapter. I however would not recommend you to skip on this chapter because uh, it's a very simple uh, chapter okay so uh, here you can only expect formula based questions or questions based on simple concepts okay so yes please don't skip on this chapter these are free marks okay so uh, let's get to the topics now so the first topic that we have is stress and strain okay so this is general stress and strain question uh, formula based question stress is force by area and strain is change in dimension to original dimension okay so those type of questions only two questions were asked over the last 15 years young's modulus uh, remains one of the favorite topic of your bit set okay so you can see five plus three eight questions uh, in the last 15 years okay so these questions are majorly formula based okay the formula of young's modulus you have to use you have to uh, manipulate the formula and uh, reach your answer okay we'll come to the questions don't worry then one question on bulk modulus one uh, question on uh, modulus of rigidity again very simple then uh, questions on a potential energy stored in a stretched wire okay that is a simple formula potential energy per unit volume is half stress into strain right so again uh, those type of question uh, fortunately no questions were asked based on thermal stress and your stress strain curve okay but it is an important topic questions are usually asked in je from this topic okay so uh, don't skip over any topic from this chapter everything is easy and it's an easy score for bit set 2 okay so uh, let's begin with the questions now so let's begin our discussion with our first topic which is stress and strain okay here just a warm up question a formula based question and uh, we'll slowly step up our level when we come to young's modulus there you'll see a lot of good questions okay so this is just a warm up question here we have the radius of a wire is given we are going to use this much amount of load on that wire 4 kg of load you'll hang it okay from that wire and a g uh, you are supposed to take it as 3.1 into pi you are supposed to tell what is the stress on that wire okay it's a very simple because stress basically is given as force per unit area right restoring force per unit area so uh, restoring force will be nothing but the tension or tension will be same as mg right so when this mass uh, 4 kg mass is hung uh, the restoring force will be 4 times of g right 4g mg okay so basically here we have 4 times of g which is uh, 3.1 into pi okay g value and divided by area area if you see uh, it will be pi r square here the radius of cross section of the wire is given and uh, the area basically will be pi r square what is r r is 2 millimeters or i can write it as 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 and that's square okay millimeters converted that to meters because we want the answer in newton per meter square right so yes pi and pi will get cancelled uh, here 2 square is 4 4 and this will get this 4 will get cancelled so we'll have 3.1 divided by 10 to the power minus 6 we can take that on top and that will be 3.1 uh, into 10 to the power 6 okay so option a is the correct choice over here so just a quick formula based question i hope it was simple let's move to our next topic which is the most important topic from this chapter which is Young's modulus. So our next topic is the different moduli, Young's modulus, bulk modulus and the modulus of rigidity. I know the spelling, don't judge. Okay, so uh, first we'll be discussing a few questions on Young's modulus and then uh, we'll move to one question each on bulk and shear modulus, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's begin with question one and two from uh, this topic. So question number one, if linear dimensions of human beings increase by a factor of nine, the stress change will be, 
okay so it's uh, pretty simple okay so if you see the change in the linear dimension so basically the change in the strain okay they are telling you about the strain so linear dimension you can treat it as height okay so if the height of the human beings uh, become nine times the original height okay so the change in strain is nine times okay the new strain is nine times the original strain okay so that is what uh, we are told okay so yes uh, the change is nine times what will be the change in stress okay we are not uh, given a lot of data in this question we'll assume that this is happening uh, under proportionality limit okay so we can say that stress is directly proportional to strain right or you can picture it more properly this way that stress upon strain will be constant right you can write this as equal to k times of strain right when they are proportional you just multiply a proportionality constant and yeah you have a relation like this okay so stress by strain you can uh, say that it will be constant or here it will be the modulus right or the k value okay so stress and uh, the, this ratio should remain constant so we are told that the strain becomes nine times of the original uh, strain right the strain becomes nine times of the original strain because it increases by a factor of nine so the stress will also become nine times of the original stress in order to maintain this ratio because nine times strain nine times stress nine nine cancel modulus will remain the same or you can see it this way stress and strain are directly proportional right so if the strain increases by a factor of nine stress will also increase by a factor of nine as simple as that okay so option b nine is the correct choice over here okay let's get to a trickier one now here we have uh, two cylinders okay or two cylindrical wires you may say of the same material and of the same volume okay so uh, you are going to stretch this wire this wire has a cross-sectional area a okay and this wire has a cross-sectional area 3a they also differ in length we will come to that but uh, each of this wire now this wire is pulled with a force f that wire is pulled with a force f dash okay these forces are such that they produce the same extension in both the uh, both the wires okay so if here the length extended is delta x here also the length extended will be delta x okay i hope the question is clear you are supposed to find what is this f dash in terms of f okay so first of all we are given that the two uh, wires are made of the same material which means they will have the same Young's modulus right a Young's modulus is a property of uh, a material and it only depends on the material okay so uh, since they have the same material they are made up of the same material the two wires they will have the same Young's modulus okay so I can say Young's modulus of material A equals Young's modulus of material B okay now uh, you can uh, generate the formula of Young's modulus uh, from here right it is stress by strain stress is force by area and strain is delta L by L or you can directly remember it we made it a song during a series right what is the formula for Young's modulus F L by A delta L right so F L by A delta L okay so I'll just put a subscript so this is the force on A length of A area of A and strain is same for both right delta x i mean delta x is same for both okay so i'll just write delta x over here okay now uh, for the b one so this wire okay so here also f l by uh, a delta l you can directly remember that f l by a delta l so here we have delta l as delta x okay the strain is same uh, i don't mean strain the extension okay uh, then we have area of b force on b length of b Okay, so force uh, on A, if you see it is F, length of A, we are not told, okay, we are given a certain extra thing, we are told that they have the same volume, so from that we can find a relation between L, length of A and length of B, okay, we'll come to that, uh, but for now, okay, so what can we tell about the area of A, area of A is A, okay, delta X and delta X will get cancelled over here, uh, length of A, I'll write it as it is, uh, now uh, force on B F dash okay fine length of B okay I'll write it as it is we have to find a relation between this two okay now area of B area of B is three times of A so three times of A okay now this A and A can get cancelled okay now uh, how to find a relationship between length of A and length of B okay so if you see we are told that they have the same volume so volume of a equals volume of b volume can be written as area into length right 
सो एरिया ऑफ ए विच इज ए टाइम्स द लेंथ ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू एरिया ऑफ बी विच इज थ्री ए टाइम्स द लेंथ ऑफ बी ओके सो फ्रॉम ह्योर यू कैन इजिली सी द रिलेशन बिटवीन लेंथ ऑफ ए एंड लेंथ ऑफ बी सो लेंथ ऑफ ए इज थ्री टाइम्स लेंथ ऑफ बी ओके आई होप दिस इज क्लियर वी जस्ट इक्वेटेड द वॉल्यूम वॉल्यूम इज एरिया इन टू लेंथ एंड देन सब्सटीट्यूट एंड गेट योर आंसर ओके सो विल राइट लेंथ ऑफ ए एज थ्री टाइम्स लेंथ ऑफ बी ओके सो लेंथ ऑफ ए इज थ्री टाइम्स लेंथ ऑफ बी एंड फ्योर विल हैव एफ डैश लेंथ ऑफ बी डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री लेंथ ऑफ बी लेंथ ऑफ बी कैंसल्स and basically you have to find f dash right you have to find f dash so f dash will be nothing but 3 into 3 this 3 will also get multiplied so 3 into 3 9f okay so 9f option c is the correct choice over here okay so the procedure is simple you just have to equate their young's modulus they are made up of the same material substitute the formula for young's modulus then uh, the relation between their lengths will be given from the volume okay since they have the same volume okay so i hope this questions were simple let's move to some trickier questions based on young's modulus so question 3 and 4 over here in question 3 we have two wires okay the ratio of their young's moduli is given as 7 by 4 okay and this other data is also given that the length of wire a is 2 meters the radius of wire a is r which you are supposed to find the radius of wire b is 2 millimeters and the length of wire b is 1.5 meters okay and uh, you are also told that for a given load uh, they produce the same extension so for a given force okay you can say uh, suppose you hang the mass of 2 kg okay so for a given load of 2 kg they will produce the same uh, extension delta x okay so that is the case over here and you are supposed to tell what is the radius of a again we'll use the uh logic of this okay the what is given in the question y a by y b okay is 7 by 4 okay now we can write the young's modulus as f l by a delta l right so for y f a l a upon area of a into delta l right delta l is same for both uh, same extension and even the force is same right for a given load so load is same okay so basically the force is same you are using 4 kg suppose so 4g and 4g uh, in both the cases okay so load is same and uh, it produces the same extension okay so uh, f is same for both okay so that's why i'm right i'm not differentiating it as fa and fb okay so here again yb we can write it as f l by a delta l length of b f b i can write but f is same uh, we know that the for a given load right so the load is same for both and uh, area of b which is of course different because their radii is are different and delta x the extension is same for both okay and this is 7 by 4 okay i just substituted the formula of young's modulus over here so f will cancel uh, and delta x will also cancel so length of a by length of b okay and area is proportional to radius square you know that it's pi r square right so pi and pi will get cancelled uh, you can see and it will be r b by r a the whole square right r b by r a the whole square area is proportional to radius square okay or pi r b square and pi r a r a square and then you cancel uh, pi throughout okay so here we'll have 7 by 4 okay now we want to find r a so take r a to the other side so r a square to the other side Uh, length of a by length of b length of a is 2 length of b is 1.5 okay fine uh, radius of b radius of b square radius of b square so 2 squared okay uh, now i'm keeping the units as it is because we want the answers in millimeters okay so this is in meters meters meter meter cancel and this is in millimeters okay so yes we'll get our answer in millimeters okay and then again you have to take this 7 by 4 to the other side okay so basically bring this r a over here r a square over here and take everything to the other side so this will become 4 by 7 4 by 7 okay so if you see we have uh what do we have uh 4 into 4 16 16 2 are 32 uh, again we have 1.5 is 3 by 2 3 by 2 2 will go in the numerator 3 will remain in the denominator And three sevens are is twenty one, so thirty two twos are sixty four divided by three sevens are twenty one. Okay, fine. So R A will be nothing but under root of this, so eight 
64 root is 8 and under root 21 okay so i think uh, it will be suppose this was 25 then around around it will be 1.6 so 1.6 but it's under root 21 so it's higher than 1.6 so i'm guessing it's 1.7 okay do uh, check it okay i think uh, 1.7 is the correct choice over here yes okay now let's come to question number four uh, in this question again we have a mass which is being hanged from a wire okay the length of the wire is two meters radius of the cross section of that wire is one millimeters and the extension in this case okay so this is case one i would say okay it's hanged in air okay so uh, in this case the extension is four millimeters now uh, this entire mass is dipped in a liquid okay dipped in a liquid of a relative density two a relative basically means the density of the substance uh, by uh, some density of uh, some reference okay in our case the reference can be water so density of substance by density of water is 2 that is what is meant by uh, relative density okay now in case 2 we have dipped this entire mass into uh, a liquid of relative density 2 the mass itself has a density 8 relative density 8 okay now you are supposed to tell what is the extension in case 2 what is the value of delta x or else i shall say delta x dash okay so what is the value of this delta x dash in this case okay so actually you can uh, easily make it out first of all think it out so in first case you can see that the only force over here is uh, in the upward direction we have tension and in the downward direction we have mg so t equals mg in case 1 right and in case 2 if you see we have tension in the upward direction we also have up thrust okay Th uh, this is a liquid right so liquid does uh, offer some up thrust right so yes the weight decreases due to up thrust there is apparent weight and this and that you know okay so uh, again we have mg in the downward direction so in this case you can see that t plus u the forces in the upward direction i'm just using the equilibrium so t plus u equals mg okay so in this case the tension is less or you can write it this way to better understand it mg minus u so in this case the tension is mg and here the tension is mg minus the up thrust okay so here the tension is less so basically the stress is less stress is less means uh, the extension will be less right so if uh, there is less stress on something the less it will extend right so the answer the answer will be of course less than 4 millimeters okay because in this case the stress is less okay so answer cannot be 5 answer cannot be 4 it should be less than 4 strictly less than 4 okay and uh, we are only left with two options one is 0 and the other one is 3 okay 0 is highly unlikely uh, it is possible however okay but uh, let's see let's see okay so uh, let's solve it now okay so uh, we'll use this now Okay, so we'll find the tension so again our thought process is the same we'll equate the young's modulus in the two cases because it's a, it's the same string right young's modulus is same in both the cases so we'll just equate the young's modulus in case one to young's modulus in case two okay first of all uh, we have to find this tension now okay in case two in case one we know it's directly mg in case two it's mg minus u okay so we'll sim uh, simplify that so t equals mg minus u how is up thrust given up thrust is uh, v rho g v rho g now v is volume of uh, uh, the solid which is immersed okay volume of solid immersed okay how much amount of uh, volume of the solid is immersed if you see uh, the entire volume is immersed so volume of the solid uh, into here of the liquid okay density of the liquid I'll write liquid over here solid over here okay so here up thrust is given as volume of the solid immersed uh, liquid uh, that the density of the liquid times g okay now i can write the volume as uh, now the volume of this mass i can write it as uh, mass by density right so mass is density into volume so volume is uh, mass by density i can write it that way right so mg and volume i can write it this way mass m uh, divided by the volume of the solid there will have volume of the liquid into g so mg we can take common mg mg and we'll be left with one minus volume of, sorry density of liquid divided by density of solid okay now since it's a ratio and we have here relative density so basically uh, basically here we'll have 
density of liquid so this uh, basically means density of liquid divided by the reference right and here also density of solid is density of solid divided by the density of reference so reference reference since they uh, it's a ratio it will get cancelled okay so what do i mean you can directly substitute this values okay you don't have to worry that it is relative density it is not density okay because it's a ratio okay uh, anyways this will get cancelled so here we'll have mg into 1 minus the density of the liquid which is 2 and the density of the solid which is 8 okay so fine so mg into 1 minus 2 by 8 1 minus 2 by 8 okay so 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4 right so 3 mg by 4 so you can see the difference over here here the tension is mg here it is 3 fourth of mg so 75 percent of this tension okay because the tension has reduced due to up thrust okay so here in this case case 2 the tension is less and hence uh, the strain will be less or the extension more properly will be less okay so again our approach remains the same you equate the young's modulus in the both the cases so here it will be f l by a delta l okay I'll, I'll write it as delta x okay and here also it will be f i'll write f dash okay here the tension has changed uh, l length of the wire remains same area same in both the cases right it's the same wire basically and here you'll have delta x dash okay so only change uh, is in the force and in the extension okay so area and length will get cancelled because it's the same wire okay so yes same radius same length so those get cancelled so f f i can write it as mg right in the first case it is mg and by delta x delta x over here is 4 millimeters okay i'll keep it in millimeters we want the answer in millimeters uh, f dash f dash is the force in the second case the restoring force over here is nothing but the tension which is 3 mg by 4 3 mg by 4 and delta x dash which is what we are supposed to find okay so mg by 4 can cancel okay and x dash will be nothing but 3 or 3 millimeters okay so 3 millimeters is the correct choice over here okay so for tension in this case is mg in this case it's mg minus mu which is uh, which comes out to be 3 mg by 4 okay and then we just equated the young's modulus of 2 and then solve for uh, delta x dash extension in the second case uh, i know it was a bit tricky these two questions you can uh, rewind and watch if you haven't understood any part okay but uh, for now let's move to the next question so question number five over here in this question we have a cube first we are going to compress it by a pressure p and then we are going to thermally expand it so that it attains its original volume okay so i hope the question is clear first we'll compress it so that it uh, occupies a smaller volume and then we'll thermally expand it so that it attains uh, the original volume okay so yes so the question over here is to find delta t what is the uh, change in temperature that you should apply so that the cube attains its original volume okay so i hope the question is pretty much clear now and here we are given the different terms p pressure k bulk modulus alpha is the coefficient of thermal expansion and delta t of course is the temperature change that you are supposed to find okay so first of all uh, in this process we can write the bulk modulus as minus p delta v by v right delta v is the change in volume uh, v is the original volume p is the pressure applied okay so we can write bulk modulus this way this is the way bulk modulus is defined right i hope you know the formula and now uh, in this case of thermal expansion in case of thermal expansion we know that uh, there will be uh, an increase in the length so the length will increase by delta l suppose and that delta l will be given as l alpha delta t okay now we have to relate this delta l uh, with this delta v by v okay so that is our main aim over here okay so we can write volume now this is a cube we know that right so volume we can write it as l cube now you might have learned this in error that the fractional change you can now relate it will be three times of delta l by l okay or basically uh, gamma will be three times of alpha if you know anyways uh, let's uh, not go by that approach you can see that volume is l cube so delta v by v this three will come down is uh, three times delta l by l this is something that you learn in error right 
yes so delta v by v in place of that you can substitute delta l by l okay so uh, let's substitute that okay so delta v by v so in place of that three times of delta l by l okay and here we have k and again i'll write it in a better way okay let's not uh, worry about this minus sign for now minus sign basically shows that here the volume change will be negative right so in order to keep the bulk model as positive we use the minus sign okay so here we have p uh, and i can write it as p l upon 3 times of delta l now delta l we know that the change in the length corresponding to thermal expansion is this right so we can write it as l alpha delta t right l and l will get cancelled right i just wrote delta l as l alpha delta t so l and l will get cancelled and now you can easily write uh, delta t as p 3 alpha k p by 3 alpha k right p by 3 alpha k right yes so that that is what i was saying the volume change will be three times the length change so alpha is basically sorry gamma is basically three times of alpha three times of alpha you can see that factor okay so option a p by 3 alpha k is the correct choice over here i hope the approach is very simple let's move to the last question from this topic which is based on modulus of rigidity so question number six over here in this question we have a cube of side 10 centimeters okay which is fixed uh, at one end okay and then we are going to apply a tangential force of 10 to the power 5 newton over here okay and this is the shearing that happens and delta x in this scenario is given as 0.5 centimeters okay you are supposed to tell what will be delta x what will be the shearing okay when uh, we have a, a cube of same material but the length of that cube is 20 centimeters okay so the approach sh should be very simple that first we calculate the modulus of rigidity from the scenario okay now that the other cube is also made of of the same material so it will also have the same modulus of rigidity right and uh, for that we'll find the extension okay so first of all we'll find the modulus of rigidity from here okay so uh, basically it's a uh, stress by strain stress is force by area and strain over here is 10 theta okay so 10 theta i can write or delta x by h right theta is the angle over here okay fine uh, here we'll have f uh, the force is 10 to the power 5 newtons divided by area area is uh, if you see area of the square uh, 100 centimeter square i'll keep it as uh, 100 centimeters square rather than converting it into meters okay we'll uh, keep everything in centimeters okay fine uh, then uh, 10 theta uh, it will be delta x by h delta x is given as 0.5 h uh, is uh, 10 centimeters right this is the side so it is 10 centimeters fine um, i can write this as 100 into 10 to the power 4 divided by 100 or i can uh, do a wise job that 0.5 into so this will become 10 yes 10 to the power 5 into 10 this and this will get cancelled into 10 to the power 4 uh, 10 5 2 za so 2 into 10 to the power 4 newton per centimeter square is your uh, modulus of rigidity okay you can convert it in meters uh, but uh, i'll keep it as it is now the second thing is that we have a cube of length uh, 20 centimeters okay now you are supposed to find the shear uh, in this case what is the delta x in this case when the same force is applied okay so in this case we can also write eta as f by a into 10 theta right so f remains same area will change right and 10 theta will also change delta x and h uh, have changed okay eta remains same because it's, it's the same material okay so here you can use 2 into 10 to the power 4 uh, newton centimeter square f uh, will we are using the same force okay area area is 20 centimeter square that is 400 centimeter square and 10 theta is delta x by h so delta x by h so h in that case here it was uh, h was nothing but the length right so that in that case also h will be the length and length in that case is 20 okay fine 
uh, now what can we do uh, we have to find delta x so delta x will be nothing but uh, 10 to the power 5 or I can write this as 200 into 10 to the power 4 upon 400 into 2 into 10 to the power 4 so 10 to the power 4 will get cancelled uh, 0 0 0 0 2 cancels with this so 1 by 4 1 by 4 uh, so 1 by 4 yes 1 by 4 is nothing but 0 0.25 okay and 0 0.25 uh, everything was in centimeters so yes we have our answer in centimeters okay so the correct choice over here is option a 0 0.25 so first find the modulus of rigidity from this data use the same modulus of rigidity since the material is same and area will change uh, 10 theta will also change because h and delta x will change in this case and from that uh, you have to find delta x okay uh, rest all you can uh, substitute right like area is l square length square and force is the same and uh, 20 is the height h and delta x you are supposed to find okay so pretty straightforward simple approach i hope you got it let's move to the last topic for the day so the final two questions for the day in question one we are told that s is stress y is young's modulus you are supposed to tell what is the potential energy per unit volume okay it's quite simple you'll know that potential energy per unit volume in a stretch string is half stress into strain right so here you don't want the strain term and uh, you want the strain term in terms of young's modulus and stress which is again simple because stress by strain is simply given as your Young's modulus okay or you can write your strain as stress by Young's modulus right strain can be given as stress by Young's modulus okay so you just have to substitute this over here and you'll have your answer stress is s uh, strain is stress by Young's modulus so the answer is s square by 2y okay which is option a now let's come to question number two first you are going to compress a wire suppose a rod a cylindrical rod with force f as shown okay and then you are going to thermally expand it so that it comes to the same length okay so first you'll compress it to a smaller shorter length and then you'll expand it again so that it comes to its original length okay you are supposed to tell what is uh, is the force that you applied okay what is the force that you applied in terms of all of this okay where the letters have their usual meaning so first of all you can see that uh, first we compressed it right so the compression the change in the length uh, during compression is same as the change in the length during thermal expansion okay of course uh, first uh, we shorten the length and then we expand the length right so the change if you see first when we shorten it and then when we expand it that change is same in both the cases right basically we shorten the same length and we expand it up to that length only right so the a uh, length that is thermally expanded is same as to the length which is being compressed okay so that is the point over here i am saying delta x the extension uh, first uh, the compression is same as the expansion in the second case okay i hope it is very uh, simple to picture so delta x in the first case first case we are uh, compressing it longitudinally so we have the young's modulus f l by a delta l okay i'll write it as delta x so here you can write delta x as this way right so just uh, swap your young's modulus and delta x so this is the delta x during compression right and the delta x during thermal expansion uh, it is very simple it's l alpha delta t right we discussed it earlier also the thermal expansion the change in the length is l alpha delta t l is the original length alpha is the coefficient of expansion and delta t is the temperature change now what i'm saying is this and this is equal right because finally it comes to its original length so we have compressed a certain length then we expanded the same length okay so basically these two delta x are the same okay the change in the length is the same for both okay so f l by a y equals uh, l alpha delta t okay l and l will get cancelled and the force will be nothing but uh, a y alpha delta t okay a y alpha delta t which is option c a y alpha delta t 
okay yes that is the correct choice over here this was a question on thermal uh, stress okay although such type of questions are not being asked in this set just for a practice i had to do this okay so yeah that's all from today's lecture i hope you enjoyed it if you did smash that like button consider subscribing i'll see you soon in the next video till then keep enjoying physics